Investigators say pledged his allegiance to ISIS is now under arrest. They say he was on the verge of carrying out a massive terror attack. The FBI says Alex Mercurio was planning several assaults on multiple churches in and around his hometown. His alleged plot started with an assault on his own family. ABC's M. Wynn live this afternoon in Washington with the latest on his takedown. M. Yes, Sandra, the FBI says the arrested team began to have an affinity towards ISIS in 2022. Investigators say that his alleged plan was to kill as many people in one of his hometown churches, burn it down, and then repeat the rampage at other churches until he was killed. The FBI announcing an 18-year-old from Idaho arrested just hours before his alleged planned terror attack on multiple churches in his hometown of Coeur d'Alene. Alexander Mercurio seen here, knife in hand, expressing his allegiance to ISIS, according to the Justice Department's criminal complaint. There's been a steady stream of people uh, attempting to, to promote ISIS, to be involved in pot potential attacks. And this, I think, is another example of, of self-radicalization, where you have an 18-year-old that gets caught up in the whole idea of what ISIS is. The FBI says Mercurio's plot involved a murderous rampage using knives and firearms to kill parishioners. He also planned to use butane canisters to set their houses of worship on fire, going from church to church until he was killed by police. The affidavit says Mercurio sent an audio file to an FBI confidential and that his plan grew more precise, where he would, quote, incapacitate his father, restrain him using handcuffs and steal his firearms to use for maximum casualties in his attack. What the FBI usually does is place either a source or an undercover agent into the conversation. And then that can build over weeks or months until the person start stating they're actually going to launch an attack. This alleged attack planned for the end of Ramadan, eerily similar to the ISIS assault on a concert hall in Moscow about two weeks ago that left 144 people dead. A federal court date has not yet been set, and Mercurio has not entered a plea. It's also not clear if he has a lawyer. He faces up to 20 years behind bars if convicted. Live here in Washington, I'm M. Wynn, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.